And thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Schneider. And I'm Don Hasbrook. More controversy in Dalton. This time, it involves a well-known activist. Tonight, our Dane Placco off the top with the bombshell details in a brand new lawsuit. Andrew Holmes has been a familiar face in Chicago for years, well known for his work as a community activist helping crime victims in police. But now, Holmes is being accused of a crime himself, sexual assault, in a civil lawsuit filed by a former employee of the village of Dalton and a Dalton police officer. In addition to his work as a community activist, Holmes serves as a trustee for the village of Dalton. The civil lawsuit against the village of Dalton, Thornton Township, Tiffany Henyard, and Holmes himself alleges that Holmes sexually assaulted a Dalton Village employee who we're not naming because of the nature of the alleged crime while on a village business trip to Las Vegas in May of 2023. According to the lawsuit, the employee had drinks with Holmes, whom she thought of as an uncle, began to feel disoriented, then passed out in Holmes' hotel room. The lawsuit alleges Holmes then called Dalton police officer Byron Miles, who was on the trip as part of Mayor Tiffany Henyard's security detail. According to the lawsuit, quote, Holmes began describing a host of his exploits from the trip, many of a sexual nature, to Officer Miles. At some point during his rant, Trustee Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee, and there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. The lawsuit says Officer Miles then began recording the phone call and FaceTimed Holmes. Trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward the bed where Officer Miles could see a woman who was partially undressed. The trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen, and at times, moving or removing articles of clothing as he transmitted the images. The lawsuit alleges when the woman woke up, she couldn't remember anything that happened the night before and was not aware of the alleged assault until informed by Officer Miles when they returned to Dalton. Quoting the lawsuit, at some point during that time, Trustee Holmes was in communication with Officer Miles, and again, Trustee Holmes made reference to his exploits in Las Vegas. Trustee Holmes further advised Officer Miles at that time that he had unprotected sex with the female employee while in Las Vegas. The lawsuit alleges that when the officer told the woman what happened, she requested to speak to Mayor Henyard, who was allegedly concerned it could hurt her politically. The lawsuit says Henyard then advised the employee that if the information got out, Henyard would be ruined and all of the work she had done would be lost. Despite assurances that Henyard and then Henyard's boyfriend would handle the situation, the lawsuit alleges the female employee was eventually fired by the village of Dalton. Officer Miles still works for Dalton, but alleges his duties were diminished and he faced retaliation at work. We spoke briefly to Holmes this afternoon by phone who said he had no response at this time, not to these allegations, I'm not bothered by it. Las Vegas police have reportedly opened an investigation into the accusations against Holmes. On Monday, the four Dalton trustees in opposition to Henyard hired former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot to conduct an investigation into allegations of corruption in Dalton, including what happened on that trip to Las Vegas. Now, in January, the plaintiffs filed a claim with the Illinois Department of Human Rights outlining the same allegations. That claim has now been withdrawn with the filing of this lawsuit. So far, we've not received any response from Henyard or the village of Dalton. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago.